What's going on guys? Alex with that one 4 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the BRS Evolve Navajo. So this is a knife in from the Lefty Pass Around. Um, and it's it's a cool one guys. I have surprisingly been enjoying having this around. Um, it definitely exceeded my expectations a little bit and I, I kind of like it. Um, it's not a knife that I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to run out and buy. Um, but it's one of those knives that, you know, you see in the, in the pass around group, um, and you know, you think, eh, you know, it's another knife, more content for the channel. That's kind of what was my thought process. I was like, you know, like I can get some videos out of it, you know, check it out. Why not? Um, and I get it in and I'm like, wow, this is actually like a really good knife. Um, there's some things I don't love about it, of course. Um, but it's, it's a good knife with good materials. And I think BRS has a good product on their hands. So. Without further ado, we're going to jump into materials. Uh, this is rocking the Desert Brown G10. On both sides here, you have a milled, I believe it's a titanium pocket clip. Um, doesn't say whether or not it's titanium, but uh, I would assume it's titanium. You have the BRS logo on there, um, or is it Evolve? Yeah, I think it's Evolve. So it might be... I don't know if Evolve is BRS's kind of mid-tier line. Um, I don't know much about BRS. This is the first knife that I've ever handled from them. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I've seen some other BRSs out there that are like under $100. Um, this falls in between $100 and $200. So I don't know if, like I said, if the Evolve is a mid-tier line or not. I don't know a whole lot about the um, BRS um, whole lineup in general. But um, the logo is on there nonetheless. You have a black G10 backspacer right here with a lanyard hole built in. You have a hole for deployment as well as a front flipper. You have a drop point style blade, stone washed, a liner lock um, with titanium liners, which is really cool. You don't see that too often, so you have some thick titanium liners in there. You do have a lock bar insert, I believe. It might be the seat right there. If I can get it up close enough to you guys. I think you can just see it peeking through there. Um, this knife is on bearings. There no or there is no internal milling going on. Uh, but overall it's not a he very you know very heavyweight knife. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, the, the grind is a flat grind. And it's not, you know, the thinnest behind the edge. I could definitely um, I would definitely appreciate it being a little thinner. I think it would cut a little bit better. Um, but you know, nonetheless, it's not a thick knife. It just doesn't come down to a very thin edge. And, you know, it's only, you're only working with this much space back here. So it doesn't have that much area or excuse me, that much area to, um, come down to a thin edge or anything like that. But, um, yeah, so on to action and the action is what really, really surprised me with this knife. Um, and what I have enjoyed the most about it, the middle finger flick is just really really good has a nice acoustic to it i don't know if it comes from the um the titanium liners or how it's set up thumb flick is good too you kind of just shove your um, thumb in the corner and it flies right out of there detent is tuned very nicely on this knife you can hear it kind of sucking back in there um, it is dead centered not you know there's a, a smidgen of blade play but it's not really much to speak about at all um, you get a nice in my opinion a little bit of access there to the lock bar just allows you to drop it um, and you guys can see how smooth this knife is I mean, it just drops to your nail barely move the knife and it drops home um, so thumb flick is good Middle finger flick is just really, really snappy, very satisfying. And then you also have the front flipper. In my opinion, the front flipper could be better. Um, you know, it kind of ends a little bit lower than my, you know, in my opinion. I think it, the tang should have come up a little higher or it kind of rounded over a little bit more with some jimping because you really have to put the pressure right here on the corner and it kind of bites into your thumb to pop it out. Um, it's just, it's awkward. It's not the best, you know, um, 
not the best design in my opinion, just because you don't have a whole lot of leverage to kind of pop it off right there. So you really have to put a lot of force into your thumb for it to, you know, see, I miss it or I, I got it, but it didn't come out the whole way there. Um, so the middle finger flick, I, I think is a little bit better, uh, much more enjoyable. Same with the thumb flick. Uh, but you do have the ability, you know, as long as you get the knife and you get used to it and you kind of know where to put your thumb when you're flipping it out, um, it works you know, pretty consistently. I just wish it, you had a little bit higher of a blade tang here with some more jimping, um, either straight up or kind of roll over. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, it still works pretty well. And that closing action is just really, really good, in my opinion. Comes right out of there. Just drops closed very very good so um, action is two thumbs up uh, next up is ergos and the ergos are also very good in this knife um, so you have a pretty much flat straight back here um, you have some jipping here with the backspacer you have an indented finger um, groove right here and then this is also indented but it kind of swoops back um, and you do kind of have a little landing area landing choil up here where it just fits right in Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, I thought my mom came home and I uh, needed help with the groceries, but I guess I was just hearing things. She really wasn't home. So um, back to the review of the BRS Evolve um, Navajo. There's my grandpa cutting more stuff with the saw, if you guys can hear that. Um, but I think what I was talking about was I was beginning to talk about the Ergos and how there was kind of like a little landing choil up here. Um, you know, you can choke back. Obviously, I can fit all four fingers on here. Very comfortable. Um, you have the jumping up here. And it's, it's very easy to get a good grip on. Um, but if you're going to be doing some more precise cuts, you can kind of choke up a little bit. Um, I wouldn't, you know, do anything hard to where you're going to be like risking shoving your finger onto the blade here. Um, but if you're doing something more precise, you can definitely choke up, you know, be careful with what you're doing and then um, you know, do some more precise cuts there, but, um, you know, the G10 is nicely, has a little bit of a contouring going on to it. Um, the titanium liners are obviously proud. Uh, you can definitely, um, you know, see them, feel them. Um, it makes it, you know, makes the knife feel a little bit like kind of not, not clunky, um, because obviously, you know, titanium liners are premium. You don't see that often. Um, you know, pretty much they are, um, steel liners um, but somehow I wish they maybe would have taken this and nested them a little bit and that would have made this knife feel premium I love when nested liners are a thing on um, you know knives whether the budget uh, high-end mid mid tier whatever you want to call it um, so it does make the knife feel kind of a little bit blocky but it's still comfortable uh, you know it still has a nice texture to it a nice grip uh, I just wish it was a little bit more um, you know, chamfered in some areas and it felt a little bit less blocky. Um, but, you know, the pot clip doesn't stick up a whole lot. So that's not much of a hot spot, at least to me. Um, I can see some people kind of complaining about it depending on how big your hands are. But, you know, very comfortable in the hand. Adds a nice, you know, has a nice grip to it. So overall, you know, not too bad. Could be a little bit better, but not too bad. So uh, next up is action. Oh, no, I already went over action. I already went over action. Ergos. Next up is carry. So this is not a loop over style deep carry clip. This is a milled, I believe, titanium clip. Um, and it's kind of angled a little bit. So you have about this much sticking about your pocket, which just with the design of the knife is how it's going to go. Um, you know, for, for a milled clip, it carries pretty deep. It, it pretty much goes right up to where the screws go in for um, the puck clip. So overall, you know, can't complain there. It, it carries well in the pocket. You have, you know, nothing but liners going on right here. But the backspacer is a little jimped. Um, but, you know, when you're down here trying to get your chapstick, your coins, whatever you want to get small out of your pocket, um, you know, you have no flipper tab or anything like, anything like that to catch your hands on. Um, so that's not going to be an issue. I did throw this in some gym shorts a few times around the house. Um, you know, no issue there at all. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I don't know if, you know, with titanium um, liners, if that's a thing they tend, you know, typically don't do, I, I don't know. Um, or if that was a way to keep this kind of a little bit cheaper than it is. My nose is so itchy right now, guys. It's not, I'm not picking it. It's just itchy. Um, but, you know, a little bit lighter maybe would f make it feel 
a little bit better in pocket, uh, but overall it carries fine. You know, it's not the best carrying knife I've ever handled before, but it definitely is not the worst either. So, you know, carrying is okay. Um, so I guess that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. And I, I do think um, this is a good solid knife. Uh, according to Blade HQ, which I will leave a direct link to this knife down below if you're interested. Um, on Blade HQ, this is $168 which I do think is a very fair price for it. Um, you know, considering the materials you're getting, I think that, you know, right around 150-ish is a good price. So I have no qualms with 168. I think that's a very fair price because um, you are getting M390. I don't know if I, did I, did I tell you guys about that in the uh, materials list? Sometimes stuff like that, you know, easy stuff like that that you think that I would, you know, talk about slips my mind. So I apologize if I forgot if I forgot to mention and you're, you know, on the edge of your seat saying, what's a steel choice? I apologize, but it is M390. Um, so you're getting a super steel pretty much. You're getting, you know, the G10 is not the nicest that I've ever felt. Um, I wish it was maybe a little bit thinner and had a little bit more chamfering and contouring going on. Um, but the texturing is decent. The backspacer, you know, is okay. The pot clip is a titanium mill clip, so you're getting a little bit kind of a, a little bit, you know, sort of a premium feel there. Um, and I think the big selling point is the titanium liners. You don't see that very often, so I feel like at a price point of 168 bucks, you got to take that as a win. Um, and then you have the action that is just really, really snappy, really, really smooth. You know, you, you have this front flipper that is a little tricky. See, I missed it there is a little tricky, but you can definitely get it to work. Um, it's not, you know, the easiest thing in the world, but it's definitely usable. You just gotta say that now. I was getting it earlier, but you just kinda gotta get, you know, the right area as I'm missing every single time. See how kind of an issue it can be if you don't, um, you know, get enough pressure on there. But um, overall, now I'm struggling with it. If you guys saw the earlier part of the video, I was banging it out, you know, very consistently, but, um, Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna pick it up, pick it up, and I'm gonna use the, um, you know, hole for deployment to either thumb flick it, index finger flick it, pointer finger flick it, um, pinky finger flick it, no, um, thumb flick it, whatever you want to do, it's gonna be nice and smooth and snappy. D10 is, you know, nice, very crisp. Uh, overall, I think BRS has a good model on their hands. Am I gonna run out and buy it? Probably not. Um, it's just not something that I, you know necessarily have to have i'm glad i got to check it out it's one of those knives like i said in the beginning um that i saw in the group chat and i was kind of like yeah like i wasn't super excited for it i wasn't super you know drawn towards it it was just one of those knives where i thought to myself okay i can make a couple videos at it get some content um and experience it and get to check it out because it's the first brs knife that i've got to handle um don't want to talk to siri but um yeah i think 168 bucks is fine i think you're getting good materials M390 bearings, titanium liners, um, G10 backspacer, titanium pot clip, everything like that. I think it's 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 fine. Um, not jumping out of my chair to go buy it. I don't think it's necessarily a bargain, but again, I think it's adequate. I think it's good for the materials you're getting, um, and the action is just, in my my opinion, the best part of the knife. Um, between that and the titanium liners that you don't see at a price point like this very very often, so I think that's a cool kind of quirk. Um, and, uh, yeah, the action, like I said, is just, in my opinion, the favorite part on the knife for me. So, um, overall great knife, I think not a great, sorry, great action, good knife, um, you know, good materials and everything like that. So, uh, the link will be down below to Blade HQ where I found this. Um, if you guys are interested, please go check it out. This is the BRS, sorry, this was my full review of the BRS Evolve Navajo in Desert brown g10 m390 all the goods there so yeah leave a comment down below have you guys checked this knife out before um are you familiar with brs models i think brs is uh into the ballet gang ballet gang ballet game i can't talk today ballet game um as well uh i think they make some cool ballet songs um i know they also came out with a oh, i can't remember the name um, but there's a couple models that come to mind whenever I think of BRS, but this is my first, first one I've checked out. And uh, yeah, it's a cool knife, just not for me, um, but I'm glad I got to check it out. So 
uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of a hectic video. Um, I did a lot of uh, stuttering over my words and I messed up a few things at the end of the video. So um, I'm going to wrap it up now before I ramble anymore and you guys have to listen to me. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.